everybody. So the haul is so tiny. I'm just going to attach it to the shop with me. These are the items I hear you that I ended up getting from, what was that? The hospice. <laughs> um, let's see. I picked up, well, let's move this guy here. This little bunny jar. He looks like he had something in his hand. Maybe like probably a fishing pole or I would, I was thinking maybe an umbrella, but his ear might have gotten in the way. I don't know. He was $1.99. I thought it was cute. It's by Inesco. And it says, you're no bunny till some bunny loves you. And look at the little frog making googly eyes. So cute. Then at first I couldn't really find anything on this little um, something Mickey D's for all ages. Sand Lake Road, Orlando. Then I finally found one when I got home um, on eBay. This one, how much was this? I think I washed it. Uh, I think it was like 99 cents or something. Um, but I grabbed it because it was McDonald's. Like the different advertising mugs for different places have done pretty well. So, but I want to say I only saw it listed for like $4.99. So, eh, didn't really wasn't really like a game changer or anything didn't change my life then I got this wooden bowl I was thinking oops oh it has a crack in it right there but I was thinking to do um something for Easter or spring you could even like flip it over and like use it as a base and have the cloche sit on top of it or something I don't know it was 99 cents so I grabbed that and the last thing I have to share with you guys is actually the coolest thing. I hear you. Let me, let me help this girl out. All right. So when I got home, I looked this up and I saw some really cool information about it. And I thought you guys would be interested to know a little bit more about the Biltmore Dairy Farms. Um, with the exception of it being an advertising piece, which I think are cool and tend to sell pretty well because People collect it for various reasons, you know, because it's an advertising piece, it's, you know, old advertisement, or because they have some kind of tie to this place, some kind of memory, you know, it's sold on nostalgia. So, um, this, the, the um, Biltmore Dairy Farm was established by George Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, you guys know that name, you've heard that name before. It was established in 1897. It's actually known as America's largest home in Asheville, North Carolina. It was built, his intentions in building that farm in this big giant house was for it to be a self-sufficient farm. Biltmore Dairy was the most successful of all of Biltmore Enterprises, providing um, a financial cushion that saw George Vanderbilt through his death, through two world wars, the Great Depression, and beyond that. Vanderbilt also had a creamery like down the road from his farm where cream was separated from the milk. Milk was bottled and sold while the cream portion was made into butter, buttermilk, cottage cheese, and of course, ice cream. <laughs> Their ice cream became so popular it spilled out well outside Asheville into Piedmont, upstate South Carolina, and then into the east side of Tennessee. In the 1950s, the Biltmore Dairy opened the dairy bar, that is, it opened. Um, it was pretty legendary there. People came for their like deliciously fatty ice cream. Apparently, Friday and Saturday nights there were packed. The company itself chugged along, you know, through the, 19, the 1960s and 70s. But at that same time, the supermarkets were actually changing the dairy dynamics. People could buy milk cheaper, more often, and more conveniently. Um, home delivery routes were actually drying up. The last one was around 1980. Biltmore responded to the times by closing small branches and then bigger ones. The company eventually sold its milk and ice cream business in 1985. So that was a long standing operation for that, <laughs> for this, uh, for this company. That is pretty cool. It went through some, it saw itself through some tough times, and um, you can read a lot of stories about that company and about people that give their 
um, memories as children and a lot of it has to do with Biltmore ice cream. So I think that that is a pretty cool um, item to find. You just never know what you're going to find and what these items might, you know, mean to people and their community and such. So anyways, guys, <laughs> thank you for watching this super duper short haul video and shop with me. Let me know here out of my four little tiny things, what was your favorite item? What would you guys have left behind? I think my favorite item would be this for the nostalgia and then the bunny, of course, because he's so darn cute. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.